up guys welcome back to another episode of Daniels and Dogs we are currently in the great state of Montana and we are heading to Yellowstone we'll be there in 13 minutes and we could not be more excited so uh, stay tuned and we're gonna show you we're rented a little cabin so we'll show you we'll show you guys when we get there made it to the cabin at uh, West Yellowstone Montana hibernation station we're gonna show you guys around real quick. It's pretty nice. Well, hello, Leo. Do you come in the cabin? Mm -hmm. Do you come in the Come into the left. This nice little bathroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at here. No coyote. Addiction. Yeah. Super simple. This is all we need though for a couple of days. It's nice to we'll have our own little house for a couple of days. at a little general store that they have here in the park and here in like Montana, Wyoming and Idaho is where I guess huckleberries are grown so they have a huckleberry everything so we picked up some huckleberry wine, huckleberry vodka, some jam, popcorn and huckleberry beer so we kind of covered all the bases with all of the huckleberry items so picked up some of that got a few stickers and decals and everything like that and kind of did a little fun souvenir shopping <music> prismatic looks like and here's our view today <laughs> it's so cold that the steam coming up from it just
just got to our cabin here in Jackson, Wyoming. Thought I'd show you before the dogs come in and go crazy. Little kitchenette. Oh, what is it? Where are you? Oh yeah. yeah. What is it? Yeah, this is cool. I know. Bathroom. Oh yeah. Sissy. Sissy the baby. Nice king bed. Much bigger than the trailer. We're getting our morning started for today. We are heading into the Grand Tetons National Park. So we're gonna go check that out. Um, we've heard, some people say that it's better than Yellowstone. Some people like Yellowstone better. So we're gonna go check that out today, hoping that we can see some wildlife here also. Um, so hopefully we see some cool stuff to share with you guys. <music> said that in 1890 a group of Mormons came and settled here and they built 33 houses that like surrounded their church and their school and everything and now there's a remaining six that's left so that's all those houses out there so it was kind of cool to check those out What's up guys? We just got back from Grand Teton National Park. Uh, we were only there a few hours, but we didn't realize everything's pretty much closed still. All the roads and um, the main attractions we wanted to go to were closed, so it was kind of a, kind of sucks, but we'll have to come back in the spring or summer or something. Yeah, it was showing on the map that a lot of the areas open up in May and we're here at the end of April, so we're kind of just missing the time for things to open up. Yeah, but comparing it to Yellowstone, it was kind of a big difference. Yellowstone was so, like, massive, and we saw a lot more wildlife, and it was just, we just had a different experience, really, but, I, I mean, I feel like it's going to be tough to beat Yellowstone. We had just a great time, and it was just an awesome day. Yeah, today we saw a couple moose. We didn't see any moose in Yellowstone, so we saw some moose, and then we saw quite a bit of elk, but they were all pretty far away. Awesome elk. Coyote. Yeah, coyote. No buffalo, no bears, oh. no wolves. Saw a little chipmunk. He was so cute. I think it was a <laughs> chipmunk. I have no idea, but I think he was a little chipmunk. Yeah. But we did, uh, the only thing we really got to see was Mormon Row, or Mormon's Row. Is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah. And got some footage of that, but that's pretty much it. What's up, guys? It's like 6.48 p.m. I decided to come back to the park just by myself just to see if I could see any more animals because you know early mornings and later at night is when they're the most active and this is just crazy huge herds of two three hundred elk just out in these meadows and it's crazy because earlier there was i couldn't hardly spot any elk so i'm super glad i came back out This is so crazy. There are literally hundreds of elk out here. A whole big old herd of them. That's nuts. Bear and her two cubs. Probably about a thousand yards out. So cool to see. That is so, that's amazing. I'm so glad I came back out here tonight. 
it was way better than today so much more wildlife moving and a lot less people there wasn't that many people to begin with but just way more calm and you could pull over and not worrying about being people's way and stuff but this is a awesome place i want to come back when everything's open i can we can explore more but this place is beautiful um yeah i appreciate or we appreciate you guys for watching if you guys liked it uh, please like and subscribe and continue to watch our stuff we appreciate it so thank you guys